Hello, fellow bass anglers. You ever wondered about these things? Where they came from? How somebody ended up throwing something that looked like this for bass? Well, I did. So I went and checked it out. What I found out was pretty interesting. So back in 1852, an inventor named Julio Buell was having lunch out on the lake and uh, dro the legend has it, he dropped a spoon into the water. And as he watched it flutter down, a lake trout came and ate it. So he went back to the house and started chopping up all the silverware, which I'm sure his wife was super thrilled about. Anyway, he came up with something that looks kind of like this. This is plastic, of course it was metal. If you're familiar with the Johnson silver spoon, it looked a lot like that. I just couldn't find mine because I haven't thrown it since I was like five. He came up with it, applied for a patent, and uh, started selling those. And then after a few other iterations came out, with something that looked like that, which I know we all know what these are, inline spinners. Now, this one is a MEPS, but it looks really similar. So fast forward to the early 1900s. A company called the W.J. Jameson Company out of Chicago introduced what they called the Shannon Twin Spin around 1917. And it looked like this. This isn't one, but it was really similar. The wire comes through the eye and is actually affixed to the hook. And then the spinners come up here. And in uh, 1924, they introduced a single spin version of this same thing. Same same deal, wire comes came through, hooked to the hook, went through the eye, and that's what the, what the blades were fixed to. So, really similar to what we throw today with one pretty major difference. So, 1951, St. Louis, a legendary angler named Chuck Woods, who was a uh, very well-known finesse fisherman, loved to fish jigs with big trailers that float, you know, fluttered down. Um, he came up with the safety pin style spinner bait. In fact, this is the great grandson of what he came up with. It was actually called the beetle spin. So these came first. These are the, these are the granddaddies. Not this one. I bought this one at Walmart. So, fast forward a few more years, spinner baits take the world by storm. And they come out with something that looks like this. Now, this is a newer one, but in the 70s, the spinner baits dominated. Okay, so in fact, the Bassmasters Classic tournaments, the first one in 71, 72, 74. 75 and 76 were all won using a spinner bait, either as the main bait or as a supplemental bait. And uh, by names you might have heard of, uh, Bobby Murray, Tommy Martin, and Rick Clun. And then in later years, Hank Parker, we all know how he loves spinner baits. So there you have it. That's the evolution of the spinner bait as we know it. From humble beginnings, not that silver one to that. What's your favorite spinnerbait story? Let me know in the comments. Have a good one.